Ready, it's a night of celebration in Medina and it's all in honor of beer. How about that? <laughs> Irwin Shires is here from Craft Beer Journeys and Kristen Gerard from the Vine and Hop Shop. So you usually have a lot of people come to the shop to try the wine, to try the beer, right? Yes, we are a home brew and winemaking supply shop, but we also have our own brewery and winery on premise so as well. And you're the guy that takes people to all these different wineries and breweries, not just in our area, but all over the world. All over the world. We, we, we set up the sort of the vacation experience for, for beer tourism, much like they do for wine and bourbon trails and that sort of thing. We've set that up for beer. So we take people to Western Europe and all the other wonderful places where good beer is being made. It sounds good. So you got this big event in Medina it is this Friday night. And I thought you guys were going to bring some beer. We did bring some beer. <laughs> let's, see, let's, see, let's see what you guys got. So this event is a pretty cool event because I know people that go there pay $35 right. to enjoy it. And they also have an admission for people who are designated drivers. Boy, you brought some beer. I did. <laughs> you didn't mess around. Well, I know you like it. Every time I watch New Day Cleveland, you're always on the beer segment. So. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I've been outed. <laughs> Natalie's our bacon expert, and I'm the beer guy. <laughs> so there you go. Not bad. So uh, how many different kind of beers are you guys going to have at the event Friday? We are serving two, but the event's going to have. The total event will have almost 50. We have 47 on site from 22 breweries all over northern Ohio. So I would think this would be a very popular event. It's, it's very popular. In fact, we're looking at moving to a larger venue next year because we sold, we actually sold out uh, for the first time ever. So this you is mean our when, sixth people, time doing when it. people are reading this graphic on the screen right now, they do it with tears in their eyes? They're going to say, oh, I should have done that sooner. So <laughs> Williams on the Lake on Lafayette Road is sold out, and uh, people can still come if they want to volunteer, though, right? We do have a couple volunteer pour spaces one of these? left. Yeah, so, yes, if anybody wants okay. you know, help us pour beer, uh, you know, keep things neat and tidy, uh, help out with uh, some of the other setup. That's uh, it's a moving event to all of us. Now, say somebody was on. a volunteer. Mm -hmm. This is for a, a fundraiser, right? For a yes. nonprofit. Do they get to drink beer? Yes, we do have some tickets available for the volunteers so that you get a chance not to just pour it, but enjoy it. Uh, it's for Main Street Medina, which is our Historic Preservation Society. They've done such a wonderful job of uh, preserving Ooh. our square. But you're not going to preserve that, are you? <laughs> it's breakfast time. <laughs> it's breakfast time on New Day Cleveland. It's a little lively. I love that. That's a good one, though, yeah. Yeah, well, that is really good. What's this? What's in the metal one? And this one is a half of ice, and we'll see if this one does. What's it a half too. of ice mean? Half of something? <laughs> it's a wheat beer. No. Whoa, oh, that, that, one's that one's alive. I'll wait on that one. I'll wait on that yeah. one. What's the first one we looked at? Okay, so this is our paddy wagon, red strong ale. Paddy wagon? Paddy wagon. Yeah. I would be afraid to drink the paddy wagon for it fear is. that that's how it would end up. Yeah, that's why we named it that. It's a little bit of a higher ABV, so it's about a 7% ABV. So, so this is one that's, you should be frightened of this one, right? Well, no, it doesn't taste strong, but it, it, it really it can hit you in the end. <laughs> Which end? <laughs> <laughs> The oh. end of the night. Mm. <laughs> That's pretty good. So you said over 50 beers are going to be at this event. We have almost 50 beers. Like I say, we, we even have a couple of cask ales coming uh, from folks down just the other side of Mansfield. They're bringing the English style cask ale, which is a little different than, than what most people around here have, but it's what's drawn in English pubs and wonderful stuff. I'm looking forward to having everybody try that. Okay, yeah. and then we're, talk we're also talking about since we can't go to this unless you want to be a volunteer and then drink as a volunteer or whatever, coming out to your shop, your shop's called, what, where is it again? We are in the Vine and Hop Shop and we are on um, 71 and 303 in Brown. Brunswick. Um, we are the only brewery in Brunswick, but Medina County is building up some new breweries. There's a bunch of them now in our county. So if you come to us, you'll have a lot of other options Great. to choose from as what, well. What day are you guys closed? We are closed on Tuesday, so okay. don't come today. Don't go today. Don't go <laughs> Tuesday. You're going to have to day. wait. And real quickly, I just want to hear one more time about what you do. I know you, you put people on buses, which is a great thing, drive them around the area, try breweries and all kinds of different things, but you put them on airplanes too. We fly, yeah, we, we fly to the mix. All these different styles, of, or most of them originated in Western Europe, so we want to be able to take people to the places where these styles were developed or perfected and sort of helps build the bond so that they can understand that, you know, there's, it's one thing to be in a party center here in Northern Ohio enjoying it, but it's quite another to be yeah. in a 500 year old monastery doing the same thing. Or in a so, big tent in Germany somewhere. That's exactly right. Craft so, beer journeys. Experience. So when people go on these, like how many days does one of these things last and what's it cost to do something like that? We usually, they're in the eight to 10 day range because we try to wrap around two weekends because you get to occasionally get to some beer festivals over in Europe as well because they run them as, almost as often as we do. And the normal price is in the range between 3,500 and 4,000. It's virtually all inclusive, airfare is extra. That includes hangovers? Uh, <laughs> hangover medication can be provided, yes. Hangover medication. <laughs> so this is a great event this Friday and when you hear about it next year, you better jump on it in a hurry Absolutely. because they sold it out but they're gonna have a bigger venue uh, next year. That's right. And of course this is for a non 
nonprofit also. To Main help. Street Medina, yeah, we're so very proud go. to work with All them. All good things. Great yeah. to see you this morning. Thank you, All David. Right. Thank, Thank you so for much. breakfast. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> <It's> fantastic. <laughs> Coming up after the